Hey guys, Weekly Piano here, and this week I'm going to talk to you about the trifecta that creates a great musician. There are three elements, and there's one element that people often forget about. The first element that everybody pretty much knows is technicality. We practice our scales, we learn music theory, we practice time, all of these things. We know you have to have those to be a good musician. So that's there. The next is musicality the idea of motivic development. Now this is a little more of an elusive one. A lot of musicians actually forget about this, but this is the thing that has you take a piece of vocabulary and tell a story with it um, over a period of time, actually creating something greater than the sum of its parts. So you have technicality and musicality, but the third piece of the trifecta that people often forget about is mindfulness. Now. These three work together to create a great solo or a great composition. The mindfulness that you can manifest through these various exercises, some of which I'm about to show you, can bring you into the space where you can execute and use your technicality and use your understanding of musicality to manifest something into the space. But if you're not mindful, you're going to just forget all these things that you've learned. You're, you're gonna, your mind is going to be spinning on whatever it is. In, in that moment, and you're not going to be present enough to draw from the resources that you've developed in technicality and musicality to manifest a great solo or a great composition. Also, lacking in mindfulness has some terrible effects that a lot of people of our generation right now are seeing. We see a lot of, a lot of depression, we see a lot of anxiety, um, we see a lot of inability to focus. The mind is going in one direction or another and causing all of these these terrible side effects, the inability to learn, the inability to remember, and then the inability to draw on your own mental resources when you're in the moment where you need to draw upon them, which as musicians, we're there all the time, we're there whenever we're performing or composing. So here are a few things you can do every day to help with your mindfulness. One is meditation. I'd recommend 10 minutes every single day, um, it doesn't really matter what type of meditation you do. I do a chanting meditation through Nichiren Buddhism, where you chant the words nam myoho renge kyo You can do that, but you could also do sitting meditation where you focus on your breath, like breathing in and breathing out. And just focus on that abdominal area. And then when thoughts come to your mind, you let the thoughts pass and you bring your focus back to your abdominal area. Um, and that trains your mind to focus on the moment, which is so powerful. Then there's the um, there, there, there's another type of meditation. I mean, well, there are actually a lot of different types of meditation, but there's one that Kenny Warner does. In, he, he wrote this book called Effortless Mastery, which is a great book. Um, some things that I, di I disagree with in it, but a lot of incredible concepts. And the, the mastery meditation that he does in that book is great. So if you have the book or if you are considering getting it, like look that up and, and buy that meditation, it's, it's great. Um, now, that's the first of three things you should do every day. The second is a micro-focus exercise to bring you into the moment. So this exercise is with a piano. I have my piano right here, and the thing that we do is you re completely relax. I'm not going to do it facing the piano, but I'm just going to show you. You completely relax your body. You have to s sit upright and then let your finger, let your thumb fall on middle C and focus on that sound until it completely dissipates. It'll be like 30 seconds or something like that. But just focus on the sound until you cannot hear any little bit of it anymore. Now you'll notice your mind going and wanting to run in different directions and think about all sorts of things. What you have to do that day, the thing your girlfriend said to you that you didn't like, the stupid thing your boyfriend did, whatever it is. Um, those will come to mind when you try to focus on something like this. But the exercise will train your brain to come back to the moment and come back to the sound until the sound is completely gone. If your mind wanders, then lift your hand up and do it again on the same note. When you can get through the whole note without your mind wandering, lift your finger up and do the next one. Now D, do the same thing. And then again, E, F, and G, and then, until you do those five notes. And then do the same thing with your left hand, start on G, and then 
one listen to the note until it completely dissipates, until it gets softer and softer and softer and is not gone. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, and is gone and not there anymore. Um, and if your mind wanders, start it again. And then when you've completely exhausted that note, go to the next one and the next one, next one until you do those five notes. That'll take you like 10 minutes to do that exercise. And if you reach the 10 minute point and you haven't gotten through it because your mind keeps wandering, just let it go and come back the next day. Just do 10 minutes of that every day. Um, the third exercise that you can do is, um, I call it the wandering hands exercise. <laughs> no innuendos there. Um, it's where you put your hand, I mean, you're sitting obviously facing the piano, but you allow your hand, you, you just sit there and allow your hand to move about the notes. Just however your hand wants to go and don't control it. Do not consciously play any notes. Just like let your hand like do whatever it wants on the piano and try to allow it to have a mind of its own and just listen and accept whatever your hand plays and if you can, try to convince yourself that whatever it is, is beautiful. Because it actually is. Your, your subconscious will be doing things through your hand that you didn't realize you could do. Um, and then just let it go. And it'll sometimes it'll play fast stuff. And it'll, it should all sound kind of random. But maybe at some point it won't, it won't be random. Um, and... Do that for 10 minutes every day. So this whole thing should take you 30 minutes and do these three exercises, the, the regular meditation, the micro focus exercise, and the macro focus exercise, the wandering hands exercise, um, and incorporate that into your practice routine, whatever you're doing. And then when you're done with that, you can focus on musicality because probably you have enough technicality. Most people have more technicality than they actually need and not enough musicality and not enough mindfulness. So the next thing I would focus on is musicality. And there's a great exercise on the link here, which I'll put as a little tag in this video, um, for myself and Ruslan Sirota explaining this concept that Ruslan has about how to exercise your musicality. And it's a little muscle in there. It's really good to, to like pinpoint it and, and develop it. Um, you'll see major, major differences in your playing. So try this and um, let me know in the comments if you have any questions. I will read through all the comments. I will answer your questions if they're about mindfulness and about piano. Um, and, uh, and let me know what other explanations you'd like in these different videos that I'm putting out. Thanks so much, guys, and I will talk to you soon.